Hello everybody, Chris Eich from Austria. My name is Peter Paul Kirschner and I want to show you the SPFX sample React Image Editor. I want to jump directly to the uh, demo and then take the story behind the sample afterwards. So here it's my workbench and edit already the web part and then I go to configure. Here you see the PMP reusable control file picker. I pick the picture Monterey Bay Aquarium and then open it. On the top of the image, you see the different manipulation options you have. You have here, for example, resize, you can lock the aspect, enter a number, I say it 800, and you can also do it with the mouse. When I remove the as uh, lock aspect, I also can uh, change the width and the height. The next thing is you can crop. You can only take a part of the image. You can move it. You have the same ability um, to crop a part of the picture. Then you can flip it. You can flip it vertical and you can flip it horizontal. Then we can rotate it. You have predefined values to rotate the image or reset it back, or you can do it with freehand. The next thing is to zoom, uh, to scale the image, you can make it bigger. And what is important, maybe you can do it again. You can make manipulations again and again. So afterwards, I crop it again, and then I say I want to apply a filter. In this example, I want to try the sepia filter. What have you done? Have we done already? We can sh show it in the history and we can make an undo and we can also make a redo. You see it in the history, it comes. When I take the history and move the crop before the rotation, then the, um, the result changed because some uh, manipulations are not so good to see that change the result, uh, some not. So, and you can reset it. As soon as you say, I have a, done a manipulation with the image and I use a new picture, then the old manipulations are removed. Uh, there's no uh, API call in, in the background. It's all done in the browser. So let's switch back to the slide. So the motivation behind was, Silom is a partner company of mine and they produce a digital asset management and they want to bring the different types of assets from their product called Content Hub to SharePoint. This digital asset management helps to organize assets and bring the assets to the right format to the different system. It takes care of the image rights and has an overview where the assets are used. One use case was to connect the Silom Content Hub to SharePoint so an end user can pick assets from the Content Hub. By default, the Microsoft File Picker cannot be extended. So uh, we used uh, cannot be extended with a custom data source. So um, the idea was born to make a custom web part. And one year ago, in the year 2020, Microsoft adds crop and kale uh, functionality to the default image viewer. At this point, we have to improve the custom web part with uh, image manipulation functions. And so we start with the proof of concept. And this was the output of the proof of concept, uh, what you have seen in the demo. So the sample is written in SPFX 1.4 and React 15 because it's also the focus that we support SharePoint 2019. Um, thanks to Silom that I got the permission to share uh, the complete source with you. From the beginning, uh, it was written as a reusable component, so the integration into new SPFX web part should be in a, uh, can be done in an easy way. So here we have the normal component, and the only thing is to add in the random method the image manipulation. You need some settings. For the most important thing is the um, image URL. Then you have some settings. We have seen in the rotation you have buttons and these buttons you can configure outside of this control. Then you have a settings array and a corresponding thing, the, uh, the settings uh, event when something has changed. And this is what it looks like. 
uh, we made a resize, a rotate, a flip, a scale, and a crop. So the order is in the array already. What's the concept behind this control? Mm, I started with a plain head HTML uh, page to explain it. Um, as simple as possible, we load the image. Um, in this uh, sample, I load Parker uh, to help me to uh, um, explain it. And here we load it, and we, as soon as the image is loaded, we call a function. This calls image received. Here uh, we pick up the canvas element of the DOM tree and request the, to get the context of the canvas. And the next thing is we draw the image on this canvas. And for, uh, to see the next effect better, I wrote some text on the image. So welcome, Parker. You have a great top up model. The next thing is I want to flip it. And um, each effect in the canvas starts at the left top corner. For this reason, we have to move Parker up and then we use the negative scale to flip Parker. So this should be the output. So let's pay, go back to the uh, source code. The structure is directly under the source folder and the uh, components you find the image manipulation. All things you have seen is uh, in this part. Uh, you find the grid here, uh, also the filters and also the localization area. So when we take a look to the image manipulation, this is the main field, we have image change as a function and also here, because when the image change or is initially loaded, we have to load the image. And here you see the same what we have before in our Parker sample. The next thing is we have to apply the settings array. We have it here and we have it also in the componented update because uh, the array can also be updated outside of this control. So, and then we have to loop over uh, each element of the settings array, and then we um, make only a switch what we have to do. So one thing is flip, rotate, scale, crop, resize, or filter. And when we expand the flip, you, uh, we see the same two lines we had before in our Parker sample. So, thank you. Uh, that I can share it. Please provide feedback. Uh, I like issues. I like positive feedback and negative feedback. Thanks. Awesome. Well, that was very cool to see that. The history thing, I think, blew everybody away. So very, very cool demo. Very cool capabilities you've done there. So thank you so much for presenting that. Mm -hmm.